Hello investors, my name is Dehan and welcome back to your number one place for all your investing needs. To end off the week, we're going to be going over five cheap penny stocks to buy right now on Robinhood, TD, and Fidelity that are trading under $5. So let's dive on in and check them on out. So the first hot penny stock on our list that is cheap is going to be Denison Mines Corporation. So this one right here, uranium is hot right now and uranium miners could be even hotter as far as topics of conversation go. This year, we've seen a nice spike in the momentum for alternative energy stocks. Furthermore, nuclear power pr production has become one of the points of focus for the Biden administration. Things we've seen out of the Biden campaign and the transition team are very promising for a continuation and even acceleration of programs and policies that will support nuclear energy, said John Kotick. Policy Development Vice President for the Nuclear Energy Institution. So they've written plenty on this uh, penny stock, obviously, as it has been one of the top alternative energy penny stocks to watch. It mines uranium and has begun using an, an in-situ recovery mining method. This is supposed to create a process for uranium recovery that can generate more output and require less work. DNN is in the news after announcing a $25 million bought deal financing around at $0.91. Cents. Most funding rounds tend to trigger a sell-off in the market, but DNN has actually done the opposite. It could have to do with the use of the proceeds of the deal. The company expects to use the money to fund evaluation and environmental assessment activities on its Wheeler River uranium project, including the proposed Phoenix Institute Recovery Uranium Mining Operations. So this one is going to be ticker symbol DNN. It was up about 8.6% today or about $0.08, cents, currently trading at just about $1, so $1.06. As we can see, it's been trading here around this 40 cents area pretty much for the past year or so. Then we saw here in around December area, it started to you know move on up. So it went from this 38 cents area to the high that we're at right now at around $1.06. So potentially almost about a 200% gain in a matter of about two months. We see volume is average around three to five million shares, but we've seen a little bit of a pop here, 16 million shares. And then over the past two or three days, 11 million. Then we saw another day, 13. And then after that, we saw a little bit even higher at about 20 million. So we saw it here, hit a high of about 80 cents. Then we saw a little bit of a pullback, obviously, hit back down to about 64 cents, then it boomed on up about 30 or 40 percent after that. So we're seeing it continue to move on up, make new 52-week highs. So what we're going to be looking forward to with this one is for it to reach $1.50. That is going to be our price target on DNN. If it can reach $1.50, then we're going to have to reevaluate it and see if it's worth holding or if it's worth selling for us, in my opinion, to see what happens throughout 2021. Now, as always, guys, I appreciate each and every one of you for reviewing my content. So go ahead and smash that like button. Let's try to get 300 plus likes in the first 24 hours of this video being up. We just hit 19,000 subscribers so go ahead and subscribe to the channel turn on that bell notification to so get notified every time we make a new video leave a comment below what penny stocks are you trading in right now if you guys want to sign up for Webull and get your two free stocks links are going to be in the description and also if you guys want to sign our patreon and support the channel go ahead links are going to be in the description for that as well the second cheap penny stock to end the week is going to be Predictive Oncology Inc., POAI. So this one, while energy is a hot topic, so is the biotechnology, biotech stocks. So Predictive Oncology has steadily climbed over the last few weeks and came close to testing its 2021 highs on Thursday. The move also came on the heels of a recent update from the company. Predictive announced its financing deal via a registered direct offering. The company signed an agreement to sell 7.4 million shares at $1.75 per share. With the closing of this transaction expected by midweek next week, there's plenty of time to see how the market is going to respond. Now, though the specific details and use of the proceeds were limited, we can only look at the co company's recent updates for a bit of insight into what working capital could be applied to. Its Halamics business finished the uh, integrating quantitative medicines active learning computational research engine. It was paired with Helimix tumor space, knowledge base of 150,000 tumor drug response profiles and the true tumor patient primary tumor cell line assay. This allows Helimix to offer a new artificial intelligence powered drug discovery service to pharmaceutical companies, further enhancing its personal medicine platform. Now, furthermore, this month, the company also reported com commencing a drug uh, repurposing project focused on ovarian cancer and using its AI driven PADAL platform. The CEO of uh, Predictive Oncology explained our expectations are that the project will have significant value by generating proof that data for our PEDAL approach which will be used in our commercial discussion with pharmaceutical companies. In addition, the project will also de demonstrate the long-term value of Helimix unique data. 
So this one is going to be ticker symbol POAI. It was actually down. It was pretty much flat. It was down about half a percent today. Currently trading at $1.85. So down here we see for the past two or three months, we've been trading at this level around about 67, 70 cents area for a while. Volume was very low at around 300,000, 500,000 every day. Then we saw here, beginning of January, January volume started to pick up 1 million shares, 7 million shares. Then we even saw a pop here of 12 million shares and today over 14 million shares. So it was trading around the 70 cents area. Now it's trading at 185. So it's went up over 100% a little bit over that, maybe 150% in the past month or so. So we're going to be looking for a continuation of that as we are currently at the previous resistance area that we were trading at last year and also the support area before that on the 52-week high. So if it can break through this $2 barrier resistance area, then we have all the way to about $2.5 before we hit the next resistance. And then after that, we continue to go on up to about $3 or higher. So we're going to give this one a price target of $3 per share for the rest of February and now obviously throughout 2021. And we'll have to keep an eye on it and see what happens with this stock in the long term. The third cheap penny stock is going to be Boxlight Corporation, BOXL. So we've talked about this one many times on the channel, guys. So the stock has been in a nice uptrend since the beginning of the year. The last few months have seen a few key milestones reached by the company, which have helped propel this move. First, the company completed its phase one rollout of its uh, Clever Touch interactive touchscreen in Texas. It also installed Clever Touch Impact Plus panels in a school district in Colorado, generating roughly 400000 in revenue for the company. This week, Clever Touch continued making headlines. Boxlight announced Clever Touch introduced the launch of it, their redesigned website. It explained that this was first of many brand investments for 2021. The new website was designed with the goal of offering easier communication with partners and customers. Furthermore, the company announced that the Ridgeway School in the UK selected the Clever Touch Impact Plus touchscreen for its school. So that is actually great news. Ticker symbol BOXL. This one was up about 15.22%. And we talked about it the other day, actually. So it's currently trading at $3.33. When we talked about it the other day, it was trading just around $2.90, I believe, maybe $2.88. So what we see with this one, it was trading at this level around $1.40 for a while for maybe three or four months. Then once again, towards the beginning of January, a lot of these you know companies, especially the penny stocks, started to move on up. Volume is still very really low. I mean, we're only trading between four and eight million shares, but it went from $1.49 to about $3.33. So that's over 100% gain in a matter of about a month on these penny stocks. And this is where it comes, guys. These penny stocks are so volatile that they can go up 100% in a month and they can also go down, you know, 50%, 60% in a matter of days or even hours, depending on what news comes out with them and what's going on around the media and the whole market in general as well, because the market can also give it some momentum to push up, especially depending on which sector it is, the biotech sector, energy sector, you know, it all depends on that as well. And then especially the ones that... um are surrounded by the Rona, um, you know, trying to bring cures or different products for the Rona. Those p penny stocks seem to, you know, roar, especially around the times when the, the Rona is, you know, going rampant around the USA or the whole world. So with this one, we're going to give this one a price target of $4 per share because that is where our previous resistance area is or our previous 52 week high, I guess you could say. So about the $4, $4.20 area, if it can break through that, we can continue to move on up with positive news and some more volume. So definitely keep a box uh, on your uh, watch list. The fourth cheap penny stock to end this week on is going to be ZW Data Action Technologies Inc. CNET is the ticker symbol CNET. So Bitcoin and cryptocurrency remain in the spotlight this week. Of course, companies with exposure have followed suit. ZW Data has now managed to move more than 70% this month after re reaching highs of about $4.18 this week. Now, two critical updates helped uh, give a momentum boost this week. First, ZW closed a strategic corporation deal with China Digital Culture introducing decentralized finance through ZW's blockchain infrastructure flame framework platform. These two will operate IP data for esports and games. Now, the company continued progress in the blockchain cryptocurrency area with news of partnering with Bitspace for a blockchain mining platform. Ying Gang Guo, chief technology officer of ZW Data, commented, We will work together to establish multiple large-scale self-operating mines with a load of more than 100,000 kilowatts in a much faster operating efficiency. We will also have comprehensive cooperation with Bitspace in the field of digital currency, such as mine design and construction, mining machine, procurement, operating and maintenance, and the quantitative hedge investment of digital currency. With crypto as a hot button item right now for so many traders, will CNET stock be on the list of penny stock to watch this month? 
I personally think so, but let's take a look and see what you guys think as well. Once we go over this one, I definitely want you guys to leave a comment below letting me know what you think about CNET. So ticker symbol CNET. It was up about 12.5% today or about $0.44, cents, currently trading just under $4 per share. As we can see, it's been increasing steadily throughout 2020 and going into 2021. We see right here, uh, the beginning of January, it popped right here from $1.39 to highs of $4.75 with volume at 200 million shares. That was a huge jump right there, over 200% right there. Obviously, the stock was way overbought right there. So it was in that area, pulled back down, but it still continued to hit a higher price than it was in the past. So about a dollar gain, about 100% gain right there, actually still managed to keep that gain. Then we saw volume taper off a little bit, but now it's picking up as we were trading around 6 to 10 million shares. We saw it go from $2.45 to almost $4. Then we pulled back down. So once again, almost about an 80% gainer right there in the past few days. So this one continues to move up as well as the cryptocurrency is. As you guys saw, Bitcoin hit 48,000 today. Thanks to, you know, Elon Musk obviously joining, uh, investing $1.5 billion with uh, Tesla. And then we have all these other companies that are also hopefully going to join suit and Bitcoin is going to continue to roar. So CNET, in my opinion, definitely one to keep an eye out on. I'm giving this one actually a price target of $6 per share for the next few months going throughout 2021. So $6 per share on CNET. And this is going to be my favorite pick on this list, guys. And last but not least, the fifth cheap penny stock to end this week on is going to be Fio Pharmaceuticals Corp, ticker symbol PHIO. So this one, in fact, since the beginning of November, shares of PHIO stock are up about 85% so far. The main focus for Fio has been on advancing its immunology programs. In particular, it's developing its uh, instant rain eye technology as cancer immunotherapy platform, innovative therapy. Therapeutics. Some in vivo data were presented at the Society Immunotherapy of Cancer Annual Meeting and showed INTASYL compounds targeting PD-1, PD-L1, or TIGIT inhibited tumor growth. There haven't been any major headlines from the company other than news of raising funds. However, over the last few weeks, we do see FIO has been granted a few patents. This includes one titled Methods for Treating Aging and Skin Disorders Using Nucleic Acids targeting TYR or MMP1 with cash in hand and progress being made. It will be interesting to see how FIO fares in February and what happens with it throughout the month. So this one, ticker symbol PHIO, it was up about 8.5% to end the day. It was up even higher, but they pulled back uh, towards the end of the day. It was up about 28 cents, currently trading at $3.61. As we can see right here, this one was trading around this $2 range pretty much throughout 2020. And then it continued to go on higher and higher and higher. We see it go here from $2 all the way to where it's at now. Almost, it hit $4 and bounced back down to $3.60. So it has made over about 70 to 75% gain in a matter of about two or three months that we see right here. So volume is still really low. We're only trading around 1 million shares on an average, but some days a little bit higher. So what we're going to be looking for this one is for it to continue this breakout. If it can continue to push more volume and obviously positive news coming, we you know patents and different things. We're going to give this one a price target of $5 per share. If it can get to this $5 per share, it is going to be kind of at a high for a long time that it's been trading. I mean, it did have this one pop here in uh, June, but it bounced right back down. So we're going to say this $5 target area is going to be what we're going to be looking for, obviously, to see what happens for the rest of February and going throughout 2021. So obviously, you guys let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think about that one? And do you guys think it has potential? As always, guys, if you guys enjoy this content, go ahead and smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you leave a comment below letting me know what you guys think about all these picks. If you guys want to sign up for Weeble and get your two free stocks, links are going to be in the description. Also, follow me on Instagram and check out the Patreon if you're a supporter of the channel. As always, this is not financial advice. This is all for educational purposes. So before investing into any stocks, especially these penny stocks or any penny stocks in general, speak to your financial advisor. Do your own due diligence and research on the penny stocks because they're very, very volatile. And if you do not know what you're doing, you're going to get stuck bag holding these stocks and you're going to lose a lot of money. And we definitely don't want to see that. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.